Welcome to the first part of our two-part series on honey-producing bees. In this series, we will explore the fascinating world of these industrious insects, starting with an overview of the different types of honey-producing bees, their unique anatomy, and the intricate process by which they produce honey. This introduction sets the stage for part two, where we will delve deeper into their behaviors, the challenges they face, and how we can help protect these vital creatures. Let's dive into the amazing world of honeybees. Honeybees are remarkable creatures. They are nature's tiny alchemists transforming sweet nectar into golden honey. These buzzing insects are essential to our world. They play a vital role in pollinating plants, ensuring the continuation of countless species. Without honeybees, our diets would be vastly different. Many fruits, vegetables and nuts rely on these diligent pollinators. Imagine a world without the vibrant colors of wildflowers or the sweet taste of summer berries. Honeybees are vital for maintaining biodiversity. They help to keep our ecosystems healthy and thriving. Their contribution to agriculture is immense. Farmers rely on honeybees to pollinate crops, ensuring bountiful harvests. The relationship between honeybees and humans is ancient and mutually beneficial. We provide them with safe havens in our apiaries. In return, they reward us with their precious honey and beeswax. The next time you see a honeybee buzzing around your garden, take a moment to appreciate these incredible creatures. They are small but mighty, and their role in our world is truly indispensable. The world of honeybees is surprisingly diverse. These tiny creatures play a crucial role in our ecosystems, and their diversity is a testament to their adaptability and resilience. While we often picture the common honeybee, there are actually several species. Each one has evolved to thrive in different environments, from the lush forests of Asia to the arid landscapes of Africa. Each species has its own unique characteristics and adaptations. These adaptations help them survive and flourish in their specific habitats, whether it's through their foraging behavior, hive construction or defense mechanisms. Let's take a closer look at some of these fascinating honeybee species. By understanding their differences, we can appreciate the incredible diversity and complexity of the natural world. The European honeybee, or Apis mellifera, is perhaps the most well-known. This species is renowned for its ability to produce large quantities of honey and its relatively gentle nature, making it a favorite among beekeepers. This species was domesticated centuries ago and is now found worldwide. Its adaptability has allowed it to thrive in diverse climates from the temperate regions of Europe to the tropical zones of South America. European honeybees are known for their honey production and gentle nature. They are also vital pollinators, contributing to the growth of many crops and wild plants. Another important species is the Asian honeybee, Apis serrana. These bees are smaller than their European counterparts, but are equally important in their native regions. These bees are native to Asia and are known for their resilience to pests and diseases. They have developed unique behaviors to protect their hives, such as forming defensive clusters to ward off predators. Venturing further afield, we encounter the giant honeybee, Apis dorsata. This species is known for its impressive size and the massive combs it constructs. True to its name, this species builds massive combs, often high up on cliffs or in tall trees. These combs can be several feet in diameter and house thousands of bees. At the other end of the spectrum, we have the dwarf honeybee, Apis floria. These tiny bees are masters of efficiency, building small, delicate combs that are perfectly suited to their needs. These tiny bees build small, delicate combs, often in shrubs or low-hanging branches. Despite their size, they play a crucial role in their ecosystems, pollinating a variety of plants. Each honeybee species has its own fascinating story to tell, highlighting the incredible diversity of the natural world, from the industrious European honeybee to the resilient Asian honeybee and the impressive giant honeybee to the efficient dwarf honeybee. These species showcase the remarkable adaptability and complexity of nature. Honeybees possess a remarkable anatomy perfectly suited for their busy lives. These tiny yet industrious insects are equipped with a range of specialized body parts that enable them to perform their essential roles within the hive and in the ecosystem. Every part of their body, from their delicate wings to their intricate mouth parts, serves a specific purpose. 
Their wings, for instance, are not just for flight, they also help in regulating the temperature within the hive by fanning air. Let's delve into the fascinating world of honeybee anatomy, focusing on two key features, the honey stomach and the wax glands. These features are crucial for the survival and efficiency of the hive. The honey stomach, also known as the crop, is a marvel of nature. This organ is specifically designed to transport nectar from flowers back to the hive. This specialized organ allows honeybees to collect and store nectar from flowers. The proboscis, a long tube-like tongue, is used to suck up the nectar, which is then stored in the honey stomach. Imagine a tiny sac that can expand to hold almost its own weight in nectar. This ability to carry large amounts of nectar is vital for the efficiency of the hive. The honey stomach is not just a storage container, it also plays a crucial role in the honey-making process. Once the bee returns to the hive, it regurgitates the nectar passing it to other worker bees. Enzymes within the honey stomach begin to break down the complex sugars in nectar into simpler sugars. This enzymatic action is the first step in transforming nectar into honey. Another remarkable feature of honeybees is their wax glands. These glands are essential for the construction and maintenance of the hive. These glands, located on the underside of their abdomen, produce tiny flakes of beeswax. The wax is secreted as a liquid and hardens into flakes as it comes into contact with the air. The bees meticulously mold these flakes with their mandibles or jaws to construct the intricate hexagonal cells of the honeycomb. This structure is incredibly efficient, providing maximum storage with minimal material. These cells serve as both nurseries for developing bees and storage units for honey and pollen. The hexagonal shape is not only strong, but also allows for the most efficient use of space. The honey stomach and wax glands are just two examples of the amazing adaptations that make honeybees such successful creatures. Their complex anatomy and behavior are a testament to the wonders of evolution and the intricate balance of nature. A honeybee colony is a marvel of organization and cooperation. These tiny creatures work in perfect harmony, each contributing to the well-being of the entire colony. Thousands of bees live together in a hive, each with a specific role to play. From the moment they emerge, they are assigned tasks that are crucial for the survival of the colony. This intricate society ensures the survival and success of the colony as a whole. Communication is key, and bees use a variety of methods, including pheromones and the famous waggle dance, to share information about food sources and other important matters. Let's meet the key players in this buzzing community, the queen, the worker bees, and the drones. Each has a unique role that contributes to the hive's efficiency and productivity. At the heart of the colony is the queen bee. She is the mother of all the bees in the hive and the central figure around which the colony revolves. She is the only female bee in the hive capable of laying eggs, and her primary role is reproduction. The queen's ability to lay eggs is vital for the colony's growth and sustainability. The queen bee can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day, ensuring a constant supply of new bees for the colony. This prolific egg laying is essential for maintaining the population and replacing bees that have completed their life cycle. Worker bees are the all-female workforce of the hive. They are the backbone of the colony, performing a multitude of tasks that keep the hive running smoothly. These industrious bees are responsible for a wide range of tasks, including cleaning and maintaining the hive, foraging for nectar and pollen, and caring for the brood or developing bees. They also produce honey and royal jelly, which are essential for feeding the colony. Drones, the male bees, have a much simpler role. Their primary function is to ensure the continuation of the species by mating with a virgin queen. Their sole purpose is to mate with a virgin queen from another colony. This mating process takes place in mid-air and only the strongest drones succeed in passing on their genes. Drones do not have stingers and do not participate in any of the hive's work. They rely on the worker bees for food and protection. The life of a drone is short but crucial for the continuation of the honeybee species. After mating, drones typically die, having fulfilled their purpose. The intricate social structure of a honeybee colony is a testament to the power of cooperation and specialization. Each bee, regardless of its role, contributes to the overall success and survival of the colony. This remarkable system of organization and teamwork is what makes the honeybee colony one of nature's most fascinating phenomena.